Hi everyone, I'm Gina R. And I'm back with my Washington Quarter Dansko album. I'm back with my Washington Quarter album. And it's been a while since I've added anything to my album. Now, I've been primarily working on the clad section where I've been ordering some really nice BU quarters to add. And every time I can find one, I go ahead and add it to my album. I'm still missing quite a few of them, but these are a little bit easier to get a hold of. So uh, I kind of put this on hold for a while. Now, as far as my silver section, there are 82 silver, I should say 83, excuse me, let me correct myself. There are 83 silver quarters in this album. And I've got all of them filled except for the 1932D and the 1932S, both of which are key dates. So let me go ahead and zoom in so we can see what the mintage is on those. Whoops, I'm out of focus. Let me try it again. There we go. And so if we look at the 32 DNS, they have just a little bit over, and let me focus that because it's out of focus. There we go, it's a little bit better. We have a little bit over 400,000 of these quarters that were minted. So as you see, compared to the other ones, for example, the 1936 Philadelphia, there were over 41 million of these that were minted. So it means that they're a lot easier to find. Now, the 1932 D and S, I found out are pretty expensive even in poor condition at the tulsa show i would find them i think the lowest i found that i i didn't go to all the merchants but the ones that i did visit the lowest price was about 60 dollars each and that's kind of like 120 if you think about it at the least for these in poor condition i can imagine what they cost in excellent condition but $60 was a lot of money for me. So I decided to go ahead and unfortunately pass up on the ones that I did see at the Tulsa Coin Show. But I will show you the ones that I do have in my album right now. So let me zoom out a little bit to get a better view. So as you can see, a lot of the ones that I do have in my album are pretty worn some of these were purchased at the antique shop some i found coin row hunting others i found online through very good dealers that are found on ebay trust it i know who they are so I purchased it from them. So these are all of the silver section of my album. And like I said, there are 83 total silver quarters. And I have 81 because I'm missing these two quarters right here. Well, I should say, I was missing these two quarters. I found them recently in not the best condition. As you can tell, they're pretty worn. This one has spots. This one, you can barely make out the edges because you can see the mint mark on both of them. And so, yes, I finally have the last two quarters 
of the silver section for my Dansko album. So even though these quarters are in really bad shape, I still did pretty well. I didn't pay that much for them. In fact, I got two for the price of one. So I can't really complain about that. Okay, I'll be back in just a bit. Let me go ahead and get these quarters out of their flips. Okay, I already took them out of the flips. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at them before I put them in the album. Like I said, they are very worn. That's why I do not mind holding them. Look at that. You can see the date, 1932. And there's the Denver Mint mark. So that's going up here. Let me go ahead and put it in already. Here we go, 1932, Denver. And the next one is, you can see the date better. There's a little bit more detail. It's still in pretty bad shape. I do know that I can clean this and take those spots off. I choose not to. I'm going to live it the way it is. The next owner can do that if they choose. And there's the San Francisco Mint in the bottom. So that is cool. So let me go ahead and put that right there. And let me go ahead and pull the sleeve in. There we go. And that is awesome. Let me take a little bit of a wider angle on this. Here we go. So as you can see, all the slots are filled. I do have some that are in really good condition. And then I got some that are really bad, just like that 1932. And there is a probability that I might sell those to upgrade down, down the line. Or I just might just go ahead and live it like that. Because it does give the album some character. Now, like I said, I'm still missing the clad. On this page, I'm missing one, two. On this one, I'm missing one, two, three. Over here, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. On this page, I'm missing three. So I'm missing 13 of the clad quarters in order to complete this album. I am super excited to have finally finished the silver section of this Dansko album. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, happy hunting, happy collecting. Bye everyone.